Oh, what's going on, guys? It's Troy Dan here. And today, we've got NFL players who have let themselves go. That's right. After retirement, they don't work out anymore, and instead, they pick up addictions or cheeseburgers. I have not seen this, and I don't know NFL players as well as I know the NBA, so some of these players might be new, but I know they got some big boys in the NFL, so if they're letting themselves go, big chonkers out there. Link in the description below. Make sure to sub 32 times. First time watching it. Let's go. One NFL Whoa. player became 600 pounds. Another became an that's armed robber. And that's not even the oh, worst of it all. These are the NFL players that let themselves go. Is that Lamar Jackson? Jamarcus Russell came into the NFL signing a contract worth around $70 million. That's a lot of money. But it wasn't even about the money to him. It was about the cheeseburgers. Jamarcus was a... Whoa. Star athlete in high school and college, where he became a legendary quarterback. At LSU, he got better each year, throwing over 6,000 yards and 52, 52 takedowns. What? But the 2007 in Sugar Bowl game is where Jamarcus let the world know he belonged in the NFL. That game, Jamarcus threw and rushed over 350 yards. Dang, only three scored takedowns. Three but... touchdowns and was only named three touchdowns? MVP for the win. And there was Wait. one person watching in that crowd that mattered more than anyone else. Oakland Raiders owner, Al Davis. He saw what Jamarcus did and wanted to draft him number one. So he did. But as oh. soon as Jamarcus made it to the NFL, all the problems came out. Cheeseburgers? He refused to study or practice unless he was paid a contract he wanted. Ugh. So the Raiders rearranged the deal and gave him $68 million. You'd think this would be enough money to play the sport you love for a living. But when Jamarcus joined the team, he wasn't prepared for games Oof. and looked out of shape on the field. The man was 185 pounds in high school. But within just a couple of years, he put on another 80, ballooning up to 265 That's a and large six man. foot six. This guy Very is a pro man. athlete with a 30.6 BMI. That is clinically obese, but that Darn. wasn't even the worst part about Jamarcus's issues. Wait, what position On is Tuesdays, he? Tuesdays, the team studied their opponents and prepared for the next game, and Jamarcus would always skip those days, so the staff tried everything. They even made Damn. DVDs of the game plans for Jamarcus to watch at home, but he still never seemed ready to play, so well, coaches sent Jamarcus a blank DVD to see if he'd notice. And the next time they saw him, he said the game plan looked good. <laughs> Something had to be done. So his what teammates came to Jamarcus's house to watch film with him. And that's when they found out about his secret addiction. Oh. He'd make them bring 10 Wendy's cheeseburgers as a bribe to watch the film. And when the organization found out, it all made sense. They just paid a 300 pound man tens of millions just so he could eat his way out of the league. So they Damn. released Jamarcus, and he finished his career with more interceptions than touchdowns. Fast oh, forward no. a few years later, oh. he attempted an NFL comeback, but would you want someone on your team who ate their way out of the league? Did, no? he, did he come well, back? Did neither he come did back? anyone else. But at least Jamarcus didn't end up millions in debt like this next NFL player. Uh-oh. Imagine going from a $60 million contract, graced with the cover of Madden, to being $1.5 million in debt. That's exactly what happened to Vince Young. Vince Young? It all started when Vince was drafted to the NFL back in 2006 with the number three pick. He signed a $25 million contract before Good money. ever stepping on a pro field. But Good money. Vince turned into one of the biggest busts of all time. Cheeseburgers? College, hold on, hold on, Vince let me guess. Cheeseburgers? Nachos. He looks like he likes nachos. Setting records. Being the first player ever to pass for 3,000 yards and rush for 1,000 yards in a single season. Just think about this. Lamar Jackson didn't even do that this year, and he's the fastest player in NFL history and a face what of the about Michael Vick? Even though Vince was a legend in college, once he made it to the NFL, he realized it was way harder to be in this league. By his third season, he was nothing more than an average quarterback. Damn. In fact, he threw more interceptions than touchdowns during his six years in the NFL. I know what that so feels he lost like. He his love for the game and retired in 2011. Oh. But at least he walked away with $60 million. How's he in debt? You save that, and you got enough for a lifetime. Even your kid's lifetime. Yeah. But Vince Young had you different plans for You put that in some stock, you good. He decided to spend Forever. all of his money on his cheesecake factory addiction. Was... Vince would spend 5000 a week at the restaurant. One employee said- Okay, I said nachos, but it, you know, 
I was close. Anyone 15, say cheesecake? Press one. You said cheesecake. Fifteen thousand in one night. But that's just where you spent fifteen thousand dollars on cheesecake. Vince decided he wanted some silence when he flew Man, across get the country. A real so drug addiction, like an adult. God. On a Southwest flight to be by himself, spending around twenty thousand dollars on a single flight. Vince thought he was invincible. A three hundred thousand dollar birthday party, Ferraris. He was buying alcohol for every hot girl he saw. But well, one you got to do that. Vince got a call from his financial advisor telling him he was dead broke. <laughs> this man went from sixty million dollars. You know, that's kind of it's your fault, man. I didn't million, feel bad about that at all. Literally three years. So Vince was forced to file bankruptcy. Things were so bad, selling all of his old assets weren't enough to cover. That's, you gotta, you, that, that's special kind of stupid though. That's very stupid of you. You gotta be smarter. So he eventually went man. back to school, entered rehab, and hit the reset button on his life. Well, that's good. <sighs> That's tough. That's good. But it could be worse. I mean, oh? at least Vince didn't become one of the most hated NFL players ever. OJ? Like his next guy. To this day, no one can really explain what happened to Antonio Brown. Some blame his ego, others... Sorry. Is this the same guy that Tom Brady just wanted to ring with? Think the Madden curse had something to do with it. But either way, AB let himself go. During his first years in the NFL... He racked up over 11,000 yards 80 and takedowns? 80 touchdowns. He had 100 receptions in six straight seasons. What's a the reception? longest streak in NFL history. Antonio felt unstoppable. And with that, he became the second highest paid wide receiver ever, making 17 million per season. No That's wonder good. his ego got so big. He started feeling like he was the organization, not the team. And he started beefing with people in the locker room. Caught streaming uh, teammates bashing other NFL players Jesus. and partying nonstop. Eventually, he demanded a trade from the Steelers, so he was dealt to the Raiders. And then once he got to Oakland, the problems only got worse. He literally showed up to training camp in a hot air balloon, but he couldn't even. <laughs> he had to sit out after suffering frostbite from a recent cryotherapy. Frostbite. Session, but it just keeps getting worse. What? Around that time, the NFL frostbite. started placing uniform bands for the upcoming season. And one of those was a helmet that was Antonio's favorite. So he refused to practice with the Raiders for weeks, trying to petition the league. The Raiders started fining him for this. And Antonio posted the letter to Instagram with the oh, caption, oh, when your God. own team wants to hate, everybody got to pay this year. And later in the day, Antonio oh, showed up to practice, egos, egos. confronted the GM, Young man with and money and egos. had to hold him back. A few days it's later, the devil. Antonio apologized to everyone during a team meeting, and things actually seemed like they were turning around. Until later that day, Antonio posted a video on YouTube of a private conversation recorded between him and John Gruden. I don't so know any of this. So fined him $215,000 for conduct detrimental to the team, and avoided Antonio's $30 but million just with a in ring? guaranteed money. So he went I'm back confused. to Instagram and posted... You're going to piss a lot of people off when you start doing what's best for you. I'm not mad at anyone. I'm just asking for the freedom to prove them all wrong. And just hours later, the Raiders released him. The very next day, Antonio wanted? was signed by the Patriots. Okay. And the internet nearly exploded, okay. imagining him and Tom Brady together. And they went on to play a single game together. But then another scandal was released, and the Patriots released him immediately. Antonio oh? went from what a superstar do? and a face of the NFL to nearly blackballed from ever playing again. How? So he's lucky the Buccaneers gave him a chance to prove himself again. But on the bright side, at least Antonio has kept himself in shape, unlike this next NFL player. I mean, he he, he, he he didn't do, you know, he's doing all right. Antonio Brenton, you know, makes mistakes. We all make mistakes, trust me. But he's doing good now. It's all good. In, it's all good in the hood, huh? Jared Lorenzen's fall off all good. is one of the most heartbreaking stories in the NFL. Oh, I hope Unlike he's alive. any pro athlete ever, he was the first to predict his own death. It oh, all no. started when Jared was a kid. Throughout his teen years, Jared Wait, treated sports do I know what like his is? life depended on it. He could have made it to the NBA if he wanted, but he was even better at football. And okay. I mean, the man was already 240 pounds in high school, so it worked Young out Zion. perfectly. As a junior, Jared passed for a record 2,759 yards Damn. and 37 touchdowns. That's a then big Then during block. his senior year, he He's threw thick. for 3,393 yards, 45 touchdowns, and rushed for 15 touchdowns as well. Jared went to Kentucky for college, and there he became even better. He had to drop 40 pounds down to 200 for his coach to let him play, but 
it was well worth it. Jared spent four years at Kentucky, and he threw for over 10,000 yards and 78 touchdowns. Wow, that's Both a Both records to this day. But during all this time, Jared's weight was slowly becoming a concern. Oh, By no. the end of his college career, Jared was 285 pounds. He wasn't the size of a typical quarterback, so Tom no Brady NFL 225. team wanted Hold to Hold on, I just feel like Tom Brady was 6'4 last night on John Madden football. I, had no, I thought he was six feet. I had no idea. Even bigger of a goat. I didn't know. He signed to the Giants so as a free agent. That he's not a midge. They already had two solid Taller quarterbacks. Me? So Jared didn't get much of an opportunity. He eventually joined the Colts where he only played that preseason. After playing four games through three seasons, Jared decided the NFL just wasn't for him. And in 2011, he became a GM of the Northern Kentucky River Monsters. <laughs> but he still preferred being on the field. So the what? team let him become their quarterback. What and is year, a joke? Jared threw for 81 touchdowns and one MVP. He played a few seasons, but injuries got the best of him. And when he retired in 2013, that's kind of was well funny, over 300 sort of. pounds. Not long after he retired, that's his bad. wife divorced him oh, and no. it sent him into a spiraling depression. Uh -oh. Oh, the Christ. only comfort he had was food. Oh no. The years went by and Jared kept eating. Oh no. Doctors told him he was literally killing himself. Oh good lord. But Jared was in denial. Then in 2019, Jared looked at himself in the mirror hopped on a scale, and hated what he saw. So he started filming a documentary called The Jared Lorenzen Project. Okay. During the first episode, he was nearly 600 Oh, pounds. shoot, bro. Jared wanted to use this opportunity to inspire anyone else dealing Holy with similar moly. issues. He admitted he was eating dangerously and said, the way I'm going right now, as scary as it is, I'll die in five years. If I don't wake up tomorrow, it wouldn't be a shock to many people. Jared was really trying, but one day he felt a pain in his chest. So Jared called his father oh, and Lord. said he didn't feel well. They called oh, an Lord. ambulance and when he got to the hospital, doctors found his oxygen levels low, his kidneys were failing, and his heart was enlarged. Jared lasted a few more days, but even with the doctors doing everything they could, he tragically passed away at 38 years old. Damn. Michael Vick was a Why? Oh, you can't, you can't go from you can't go from Super Sag to Michael Vick. We can't that's not how you transition. You don't you did it. Well, he had all the potential in the world to become a crime and we got dog and fights in the out prime here. of his career. A scandal he was involved in completely ruined his life. When Vick was drafted to the NFL, he became one of the rarest players ever. Running a 425 in the 40 yard dash, he was the fastest NFL quarterback ever. And that's why in Madden, they gave him the highest overall speed in 95. So not only was Vic a quarterback, he could Quick run Vic. the ball better than Quick most Vic. running backs. And after three seasons, he got the biggest contract in the NFL at the time, $130 Woo! million. Dollars. It seemed Darn. like nothing could slow him down until people found out what he was spending all these millions on. Dogs. After receiving a tip, police started investigating Vic's cousin, and eventually the trail led right to Michael Vic himself. And what they found was so horrifying, it sent chills down their spines. Instead of finding evidence towards his cousin, they found dozens of injured and neglected oh dogs. Oh my god, owned I didn't realize it was this bank. Yeah, that's right. This world class athlete was spending his free time running a dog fighting ring, going under the alias of Uki from 2001 to 2007. Hundreds of thousands Why? of dollars were being gambled here. And at first when this was found, Vic denied any involvement. Who gets off but on that? I didn't last long since, you know, they found the dogs in his own house. So he accepted the consequences, was sentenced to 23 months in prison, and paid over a million dollars for care, recovery, and adoption for the dogs involved. Vic went from a superstar football player to a felon. Not just a felon. This dude was fighting dogs, man. Yeah. Everyone loves dogs. After this, the public hated Michael Vick. But As they the should. The, day, the NFL's a business, so he wasn't completely banned from the league. He rejoined the NFL and played from 2009 wow. to 2015 the for the Eagles, Jets, and Steelers. But through all these years, fans protested and petitioned to have him kicked out. And in 2016, when his stats were dropping off, no teams wanted him and he had to retire. See ya. This video right here is See, about what? Shaquem Griffin. Huh? The only oh, it's over. Player to I didn't realize Michael Vick was that. I, I mean, I knew he did dogfighting, but I didn't I didn't really know much about it. 
Wow. Okay. Well, this was this was very informative. I've learned a lot about the NFL today. Um, some sad stories. Some people like cheeseburgers too much, and some people like to abuse pets. NFL's got it all. Guys, if you got a video you'd like me to watch or react to, you can tweet me at Troyden under the hashtag Troyden Reacts. Thank you for watching, and kids, don't do anything you saw in this video.